While there are tons of note-taking apps out there, Obsidian and Notion have gotten really popular lately, and for good reason. They're both pretty great at what they do. But when it comes to choosing between these two, which one should you go for? In this video, we will look at both of these apps side by side. We'll check out what features they have, how much they cost, how easy they are to use, and other important stuff you'll want to know before picking one. So let's get started. Let's start with the basics. Obsidian and Notion are both useful tools for organizing your thoughts, but they approach this task in very different ways. Obsidian is all about creating a network of interconnected notes, kind of like building your own personal wiki. It's designed to be a second brain, where you can store and link all your ideas. Notion, on the other hand, is more like a Swiss army knife for productivity. It can be molded into pretty much anything you need, from a simple note-taking app to a full-blown project management system. Now, let's talk about the interface. When you first open Obsidian, you might feel a bit overwhelmed. It's got a clean, minimalist look, but there's a learning curve involved. You essentially start with a blank canvas, which can be both exciting and a little daunting. Notion, in contrast, greets you with a more user-friendly interface. It's got a bunch of templates and pre-built layouts that you can use right out of the box. This makes it easier to get started, especially if you're not sure exactly how you want to organize your stuff yet. One of the coolest things about Obsidian is its graph view. Imagine being able to see all your notes as a web of interconnected ideas. It's like looking at a map of your brain. You can see how different concepts link together, which can spark new insights and help you make connections you might have missed otherwise. This feature is particularly useful for researchers, writers, or anyone who deals with complex interrelated information. Notion doesn't have anything quite like this, although it does offer different ways to visualize your data, like Kanban boards and calendars. In terms of visualization, let's talk about how these apps handle different types of content. Notion really shines when it comes to creating visually appealing documents. It uses a block-based system, which means you can easily drag and drop different elements like text, images, tables, even embedded videos to create rich multimedia pages. It's great for creating things like project plans, wikis, or even simple websites. Obsidian, while it can handle various content types, is more focused on text. It uses Markdown, a simple formatting language that's easy to learn but might take some getting used to if you're new to it. Now, here's a big difference between the two. Obsidian is a local-first app, while Notion is cloud-based. What does this mean for you? Well, with Obsidian, all your notes are stored right on your computer. This has some big advantages. First, you don't need an internet connection to access your notes. If you're someone who likes to work offline or you're often in places with spotty internet, this is a huge plus. It also means your data is completely under your control, which is great if privacy is a big concern for you. Notion, being cloud-based, requires an internet connection to access your data. But this also means it's easier to collaborate with others and access your notes from any device. Let's talk about collaboration for a moment. If you're working on a team or you like to share your notes with others, Notion might be the better choice. It's built with collaboration in mind. You can easily share pages or entire workspaces with others and work on documents together in real time. It's like Google Docs on steroids. Obsidian, being primarily a personal tool, doesn't have built-in collaboration features. You can sync your notes across devices using third-party services, but it's not designed for real-time collaboration. Now, customization is where both these apps really shine, but in different ways. Obsidian has a thriving community of developers creating plugins and themes. If you're willing to tinker a bit, you can customize Obsidian to do almost anything. Want to add a calendar view? There's a plugin for that. Want to change the entire look of the app? You can do that too. Notion's customization is more about how you structure your workspace. You can create custom databases, link different pages together, and create your own templates. It's flexible, which allows you to build complex systems that fit your exact needs.
Let's talk about a feature that's become increasingly important. Notion has recently introduced Notion AI, which can help with all sorts of tasks like summarizing text, generating ideas, or even writing drafts. It's like having a smart assistant right in your workspace. Obsidian doesn't have built-in AI features, but there are community plugins that can add some AI functionality. If having AI assistance is important to you, Notion might have the edge here. Now, let's consider how these apps handle different types of work. If you're a writer working on a book or a long-form project, Obsidian might be the better choice. Its ability to link notes and ideas together can help you organize complex narratives or research. Plus, the local storage means you don't have to worry about internet outages interrupting your flow. On the other hand, if you're managing projects or running a small business, Notion's database features and collaborative tools might be more useful. You can create task boards, track inventory, manage customer relationships, and more, all in one place. Let's talk about mobile use for a moment. Both Obsidian and Notion have mobile apps, but the experience is quite different. Obsidian's mobile app is essentially a miniature version of the desktop app. It's great for capturing quick thoughts or reviewing your notes on the go, but it might feel a bit cramped if you're trying to do serious work. Notion's mobile app, while not as fully featured as its desktop version, feels more polished and easier to use on a small screen. It's better suited for quick check-ins on your projects or jotting down ideas when inspiration strikes. Now, let's address pricing. Obsidian is free for personal use, which is amazing considering how useful it is. You only need to pay if you're using it for commercial purposes. They do offer some paid add-ons like Obsidian Sync for syncing across devices and Obsidian Publish for sharing your notes online. Notion has a free plan that's quite generous, which allows you to create unlimited pages and blocks. However, if you want more advanced features or to collaborate with a team, you'll need to upgrade to a paid plan. The pricing is reasonable, especially considering how versatile Notion is, but it's something to keep in mind if you're on a tight budget. Let's consider the learning curve for both apps. Obsidian, with its focus on linked notes and Markdown, can take some time to get used to. If you're not familiar with Markdown or the concept of networked thought, there might be a steeper learning curve. But once you get the hang of it, it can be incredibly helpful. Notion, while it has a lot of features, is generally easier to pick up. Its user-friendly interface and pre-built templates mean you can start being productive right away. However, to really harness its full potential, you'll need to invest some time in learning how to create and link databases, set up automations, and customize your workspace. Now, let's think about long-term use. One of the great things about Obsidian is its future-proofing. Because your notes are stored as plain text files, you'll always be able to access them, even if Obsidian itself stops being developed. This is great for preserving your knowledge over the long term. Notion, being cloud-based, doesn't offer this same level of future-proofing. However, it does offer a variety of export options, so you can always get your data out if you need to. Let's talk about speed for a moment. Obsidian, being a local app, is generally faster to use, especially when you're dealing with a large number of notes. There's no lag when opening files or searching through your vault. Notion, while generally smooth, can sometimes feel a bit sluggish, especially if you have a lot of complex databases or are working with a slow internet connection. This is something to keep in mind if you're working with a large amount of data or if speed is a crucial factor for you. So, which app should you choose? Well, it really depends on your needs. If you're looking for a helpful, customizable tool for personal note-taking and knowledge management, Obsidian might be the way to go. Its local-first approach and advanced linking features make it great for building a personal knowledge base. On the other hand, if you need a more versatile tool that can handle everything from note-taking to project management and you value collaboration features, Notion might be the better choice. Ultimately, both Obsidian and Notion are excellent tools. The best way to decide is to give them both a try and see which one feels more natural for your workflow. Let us know if you have any further questions or would like to share your thoughts in the comments below.